Hello everyone, I'm Josh Rubenstein, the Public Information Director for the Los Angeles Police Department. This critical incident community briefing is intended to provide you with information about an officer-involved shooting that occurred in Van Nuys Division in the City of Los Angeles on October 7, 2018. You're about to see relevant video footage and learn of other evidence and police procedures so you can have a better understanding of what occurred based on what we know right now. A couple of notes about this case. The incident involved a narcotics enforcement detail and the officers who work this assignment are generally in plain clothes and are not required to wear body-worn cameras. Additionally, there were no surveillance cameras that were able to capture a clear view of the officer-involved shooting. For this reason, we have very limited video evidence to work with. Now keep in mind, the LAPD conducts very thorough use of force investigations, which typically require investigators to interview multiple witnesses, view numerous hours of video footage, and analyze a significant amount of forensic evidence. We are at the very early stages of this investigation, which can often take up to a year to complete, and our understanding of the incident may change as this additional evidence is collected, analyzed, and reviewed. We also do not draw any conclusions about whether the officer acted consistent with our policies and the law until all the facts are known and the investigation is complete. A word of caution. The images and information you're about to see may be disturbing. When a police officer uses force to arrest a suspect or defend against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. In addition, there may be strong language used by those shown in the video. Viewer discretion is advised, especially for young children and sensitive viewers. Hello, I'm Lieutenant Kevin Bronner, Media Relations Division of the Los Angeles Police Department. I'm going to give you a brief overview of an incident that began on October 7, 2018, at around 10.50 a.m. LAPD officers working the narcotics enforcement detail at Van Nuys Division were checking a location that is known for narcotics activity. This location is a hotel located at 13561 Sherman Way. The officers were driving undercover police vehicles and dressed in plain clothes. The officers observed behavior consistent with narcotics activity in the parking area of the hotel. The suspects involved were later identified as Antonio Solis and Alan Riggin. In this closed circuit security video, you will see a dark colored sedan driven by one of the officers driving the direction of the suspects. The officer identifies himself as a police officer through his open passenger window and exits his vehicle. At the same time, his partner exits his vehicle, which was backed into a parking space in the same parking area. Riggin attempted to climb a fence to flee from the officers, but was unsuccessful. He then ran in the direction of the officers where he trips and falls, then gets up and flees again. We do not have body-worn video available to share because narcotics officers do not wear body-worn video cameras. Solis threw a handgun over a nearby wall, then ran in the direction of one of the officers, while at the same time tugging on a black gun holster that was inside of his front waistband. The officer feared that Solis was going to arm himself with a second handgun from his holster, which resulted in an officer-involved shooting. The holster did not contain a handgun. The handgun that Solis threw over the wall was recovered. The partner officer heard two gunshots and observed Solis nearby and believed that Solis was holding a handgun and pointing it in his direction, which resulted in an additional officer-involved shooting. Solis was struck by the officer's gunfire and taken into custody and transported to a local hospital where he was treated for a gunshot wound to his right leg. You will now hear the officer's radio broadcast after the involved shooting. 9 or 20, 20, let me get a backup. Uh, supervisor and two units to my location, 135651. 9 or 20, let me get a, I'll call to my location. We have one suspect down. 9 or 23 also get an RA to respond to my location and stand by. During a search of the perimeter for Riggin, he was located hiding nearby. Officers searched the suspect's vehicle and recovered narcotics from the passenger compartment. Antonio Solis is a 22-year-old resident of Los Angeles. He has no prior contact with our mental evaluation unit. He has been convicted of narcotics, grand theft, burglary, criminal threats, and assault with a deadly weapon. Solis is an active member of an LA-based street gang. On October 10, 2018, the Los Angeles Deputy District Attorney filed one count of felon in possession of a firearm with a gang enhancement. Alan Riggin is a 26-year-old resident of Los Angeles. He has no prior contact with our mental evaluation unit. 
He has been convicted for narcotics possession, criminal threats, assault with a deadly weapon, and burglary. He was on parole for criminal threats and taken into custody for that parole violation. In the next several months, the LAPD will continue to investigate and analyze this incident as witnesses come forward and forensic tests are completed. After the investigation is completed, the Civilian Board of Police Commissioners will evaluate the evidence to determine whether the officer's tactics and use of force met the high standards expected of all LAPD officers. If you'd like more information on how the LAPD and the LA District Attorney's Office investigates all officer-involved shootings and other serious uses of force, visit lapdonline.org, where you can also find LAPD's use of force policies and procedures. Thank you for taking the time to view this critical incident community briefing.